Whenever you're ready. Ready? Yeah. Uh, good morning, everyone. I welcome you to this project today. And um, first, before I say anything, I really thank you for having made this project a success. And I would really like to tell you that it's been a pleasure and it's been um, it's been a privilege. You're up. Well, I thank you very much. Uh, and since the project started, I can see that um, the children here have started to increase. And we are even thinking of stopping admitting them because the project has not yet finished. And the, the parents of the children see that they want to book their children here so that when the project finishes, uh, their children will be already admitted here. So, uh, how long has the project uh, taken since it was started to be, since, the, it's, since its foundation? Alright, the project has now taken two and a half weeks and we have seen that the first phase is nearly finishing. We are only rem remaining with doing the flow. Okay, so, what there are some of the effects during the construction? What were the, the real effects? Well, the challenges that I found is that I wanted, uh, I wanted to build only classrooms without a veranda, but I noticed, some, I noticed that I had to build a veranda due to, our, due to the weather of these sites. Because if I don't build a veranda, the, maybe the, the winds can, can blow up the roof. Okay, so I see the windows in this room. Yes. So how many children do you have? Well, we had planned to build three classes because of the congestion that we had in the uh, former school and we are planning to put 20 children in each class or if, uh, a maximum of 25. So how many fem female students, children do you have? The female children that I have in this school is 26. What about the male ones? The, the rest are, are male. Okay. Uh, how many teachers do you have for the, this? Lots of kids. There are two teachers and me as the founder and the head teacher and the manager of the school. So it will be easy for you to run the three classes with the two teachers? It is going to be very easy because I'll have to participate. Okay, so what are the future plans with this ECD new school? Because as per now I see a very big thing but it's not well like done, it's not flat. Yes, the future plans that I have for this ECD is that I, will, I would like to build a kitchen and an office and uh, maybe a dining, uh, a dining place where they are going to have their meals and um, I also have, hope to have a, a tank, a water tank to improve, to improve um, safe water, be, to improve sanitation because in this region we don't have clean water and we believe that if we collect water from the roof it's going to be nice because we are, we are going to improve the, the water. Okay, so with the furnitures, on the, how, how have you seen like the furnitures? Have you got where you're going to get the furniture? Because the yeah, students yeah. can just not sit on the yes. floor. Yes, in the in our proposal, we had written about the furniture, and uh, and we hope that the furniture is going to be sponsored by the by the sponsors who had sponsored the school. They have it in the proposal, and we know we we are aware that they are going to buy for us the furniture where the children are going to sit. And it's going to be, it will also improve the hygiene because it's going to be a, a good sitting arrangement. Okay. As, as the, since it was started, I can see everything has really improved very well. But I can see the sun, the cement, everything there. So I don't know. How are you getting them? Yes, like right now, as you have come, we were just planning to go to Kisumu to speak to Job so that we can bring the materials for the flow. That is where the sand and the ballast cement is going to be involved. Right now, for the first phase, it was only iron sheets and timber. Okay, so where will you keep like all those materials? Because 
it's not secure really. There is a, a secure place where we are going to put them. We have already identified a place where we are going to put the materials. Okay, thank you very much. Welcome. <laughs> Are we ready? So, do you have the feeding program? Yes, we have a feeding program and it's doing well. Okay. How is it doing well? It, what I'm saying it's doing well is that before I started it or before, the, before we started the first feeding program, I weighed the children, each one of them. <laughs> And after two and a half weeks now, I can find that the children have different kilos. Nearly all of them have increased in kilos, in, in their kilogram, in their weight. What is the, the best child with the weight weighs how many? Yeah, the, the highest child is weighing about 40, 42. The, the, 42 lowest? the lowest? The lowest. The lowest is 28. So, which type of food are they eating here? They are eating a very balanced diet because they are taking, the, the, we, we are combining it in a balanced diet form. There is carbohydrate, proteins, and vitamins. And we combine it in every, every, every day. They have to balance. Okay, that means so. Do you see it like a healthy improvement to, to them? There is a big, big improvement and we hope for a better improvement by the end of the month. Okay, that's good. Thank you. He was just waiting for God to see you when he's coming. No, he has told me to go tomorrow. Oh, he's okay. To get him to come out. Then the fundies will continue out of the house. 